This episode is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. In this video, we take a look at the pigeonhole principle. The pigeonhole principle in its simple form. The pigeonhole principle is a simple idea that says if there are more pigeons than pigeonholes, at least one pigeonhole will have more than one pigeon. Here is an example. As you can see in this example, there are 10 pigeons but only 9 pigeonholes. Thus, we know that at least one of the pigeonholes will have at least 2 pigeons. The first formalization of the pigeonhole concept is believed to have been made by Dirichlet as what he called the drawer shelf principle. The first appearance of the term pigeonhole principle was used by mathematician Raphael M. Robinson in 1940. The pigeonhole principle. If more than n objects are placed into n boxes, then at least one box must contain more than one object. Even though the principle itself is quite simple, its usefulness and application is not always clear. The hard part is usually determining what the objects in the boxes are. Here is an example. A box contains three pairs of socks colored white, blue, and purple. If the socks are chosen without looking, how many socks must be drawn? to guarantee at least one matching pair. It is possible for any selection of three or fewer socks to consist of only distinct socks. Given a selection of three socks, it is less likely though to have one white, one blue, and one purple sock. However, if four socks are chosen, the pigeonhole principle ensures that two socks must be the same. Each of the socks color is a box, with each sock drawn being an object to be sorted into the box. With three boxes, more than three items must be drawn to have two matching items. Here is another example. Example 2. A school has n students. What is the smallest n such that at least two of the students have matching first and last initials? Pause the video for more time. Were you able to solve the problem? The answer was 677. There are 26 times 26 distinct combinations of first and last initials. 26 times 26 is equal to 676. With 676 students, it is certainly possible to assign each student a distinct set of first and last initials. However, by the pigeonhole principle, having n equals 677 students guarantees that at least two students must have matching initials. The pigeonhole principle. Part 2 Here is the pigeonhole principle in its more general form. Theorem number 2. If more than k times n objects are placed into n boxes, then at least one box must contain more than k objects. Confused? Here is an example to help you better understand theorem number 2. Here is an example of theorem number 2. What is the minimum number of cards that must be drawn from a standard deck to guarantee at least three cards all of the same suit? Pause the video if you would like to take a crack at this problem. Our answer is 9. Here is why. Let the four suits correspond to our boxes. The pigeonhole principle implies that if we draw more than 2 times 4 or 8 cards from the four suits, then at least one suit must have more than 2 drawn cards. Thus, our answer is 2 times 4 plus 1, which is equal to 9. 
Here are two more variants of the pigeonhole principle for you to ponder over. Here is the third form of the pigeonhole principle. If the average of n positive integers is t, then at least one of the numbers is greater than or equal to t. Further, at least one of the numbers is less than or equal to t. Here is the fourth form. Let q1, q2, all the way to qn be positive integers. If q1 plus q2 plus all the way to qn minus n plus 1 objects are distributed into n boxes, then either the first box contains at least q1 objects, or the second box contains at least q2 objects, all the way to the nth box containing at least qn objects. Don't worry if you don't understand this one, it is not that important. Here is a summary of what we learned in this video. The basic pigeonhole principle, the other three forms, some example problems, and now some problems for you to try. Here are some problems for you to try on your own. There are two problems for you to test your knowledge. Don't forget to write your answers in the comments below. Number 1. Alex has 10 white socks, 10 black socks, 10 brown socks, 10 blue socks, and 10 red socks. How many socks, at a minimum, must he pull out of his sock drawer to ensure at least two matching pairs of different colors? Number 2. How many standard six-sided dice do I have to roll to guarantee that some non-empty subset of the rolls add up to a multiple of 5? Did you enjoy or learn anything from this video? If so, be sure to like this video so that it can reach others who might enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified whenever we make new videos. For more awesome content and quizzes, check out thepuzzler.com.